Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1933, which is a hard level, where we have 35 moves to clear out 63 jelly. And of course this is going to be tough because I've got this isolated area and it's locked up in licorice. So I need to make specials up here to try to help, but of course I've got to get this frosting out of the way first. This is not a bad setup. It's not necessarily a great one, but if I could... I'm going to try for this. Sometimes I just exit before I take a turn and re-enter over and over. But oops, hello, I can hit the frosting on both sides. I do like to stay on one side if I can entirely. The reason is that then I've got this bigger space, so it's more likely I'll be able to make matches and specials. It doesn't always work that way, though. Like right now I'm not getting much done. Oh, that might help. Nope, we're going to have to switch over to here and see what happens. Here we go. So you just have to play the board and see where you're going to get the moves. There. Okay, so now, has this created an opportunity to make any other really cool things happen? I could make a stripe this way with the purple, and that might be the best opportunity I have. I don't see an opportunity to get a purple here to make a color bomb. I guess I could play around with this. I would lose my stripe opportunity though. I'm going to go ahead and go for this. It's going to open things up a bit more. Now if I could get a blue here that would be good. I don't think I can. Or if I could get an orange here I don't think I can. Or if I could get an orange here or here and that's more likely to occur. So let's see if I can focus on that. Um, no, nope, that wouldn't work. I would have to give up this stripe. I could just hope that there's another orange on top of here. Or I could try to bring an orange through on this side. I'm going to do this and hope there's another orange. Yay. Yay me. Yay luck. Oh ho ho ho. ho. All right. So what am I going to do now? If I take out all green. It would take this out and take this out and put these two together. And I don't think that there would be enough blue to line up. But then I wouldn't have the green stripe that I want. I would have blue. And I don't have a lot of blue down here. I don't have a lot of purple either. The other option would be to make a purple stripe. If I take out the green, at least I'm opening things up and I'm removing green. Now I'm not sure that these are going to line up. No, they're not. Look, that would hit. So I'm glad I looked at the whole board. Okay, so that option doesn't set up for me. But what if I took out all the green to open this up and set this off and I left this? That doesn't work. What if... Oh... What if I do this? And then... I can't take out anything but purple or green, and this purple is going the wrong way. I was thinking if I could get this set up with this, and that didn't work. Let me contemplate this for a bit. I think the best thing would be to take out all purple at this point. And then, did I create something or the possibility of something by doing that. Well, if I could get a red to drop through here, that's not working, though. I don't have much purple on the board, so if I remove purple, what could be created? That's not working. I can't get this red to respond. If I take out green, this drops. If I take out orange, this drops. Um, what if I can get other things to work together? Now I've got red. It's not great, but I do have quite a bit of red on the board. And I have some red in here. I think I have to go for it at this point, and then see what 
is left and what I need to still remove. Pretty good. These two spots are some of the best because I can actually get there from here. I can make this strike, which is going the wrong way, but I've got nine moves. I can try to set it up with something different. I can do this move. That's not very good either. I can't bring the purple down. I could play around here and see if I can bring things in. That's not working great. I almost have too many options to try to figure out which one the best one is, but I've lost the opportunity to make any moves down there. So obviously that's not going to work. Here we go. Got it. All right. So that's how I beat this level, barely in time. Um, but just focusing on using this to make specials to clear this out. And of course, when I make color bombs, it does concentrate the colors and gives me a better shot. That was just my third playthrough for recording purposes. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.